It was no secret Robin Williams loved Vancouver. He filmed several big movies here and was always dropping into comedy clubs to perform. Today, local actors and comedians are sharing their memories of a man who made his mark on Hollywood North. Shannon Patterson reports. I'm gonna take a year. <laughs> Robin Williams was daddy when Erica Shea-Gare had her first big role in the 2006 movie RV. I played his daughter. I knew he was a pretty big star, but it wasn't something you really realize when you're that little. The Burnaby actress did realize how kind her co-star was and how comfortable he made her feel. He was like in me a sock puppet show and he'd be tickling me. And it was really fun to film because he was just, it was like he was funny in real life and he didn't even have to try it. We found that out when we caught up with him on Robson Street in 2003. Just working in town, doing a movie called Final Cut. What's that about? Uh, it's about an hour and 40 minutes by now. But... I don't know if Vancouverites outside of the comedy community know the influence he had here. Paul Bay is a comedian and school teacher. He met Williams at a Vancouver comedy club in 2004. I said, uh, you probably hear this a million times, but uh, Dead Poet Society was one of the things that really pushed me into teaching after I decided it was the final push. And he looked at me and didn't miss a beat and he said, uh, oh, that's not my fault. Just an amazing human being, very warm and yeah, within two or three minutes of chatting with him, you forgot that he was a superstar. You forgot that he was Robin Williams. Comedians who performed here with Robin and actors who starred alongside him in the nine films he shot in Metro Vancouver will never forget him. It's really such a shame. <gasps> Look over there. Daddy. A shame that his comedic genius and his generous spirit aren't coming back. I love it. It's great. I must keep walking now. We are starting to draw people quickly. I must get back into my disguise. Take care. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.